everyone again. Thank you for joining us in our course and a series of seven kinds of meditation in the meditation year. We're grateful for those who have been able to join us virtually and physically. We are practicing social distancing. <coughs> right now, I'm in here by myself. That's why I'm not wearing a mask. But normally I would. Um, we've been talking about breathing. We've been talking about sitting. And we've also been talking about doing nothing. Just being. That state of just being who you are, where you are, when you are. Being here now. We're also reading from a book by Thich Nhat Hanh called How to Sit. And this is a wonderful little book with great instructions from a, a wonderful uh, monk and mentor, Thich Nhat Hanh. So let's read a little bit today from his book. And if you have the book with you, we're on page 24. Doing less. Many of us keep trying to do more and more. We do things because we think we need to. Because we want to make money, accomplish something, take care of others, or make our lives and our world better. Often we do things without thinking. Because someone asks us to or because we think we should. But if the foundation of our being is not strong enough, then the more we do, the more trouble our society becomes. Sometimes we do a lot, but what we don't, but we, but we don't really do anything. Let's say that again. Sometimes we do a lot, but we don't really do anything. There are many people who work a lot. There are people who seem to meditate a lot. Spending many hours a day doing, sitting, meditation, chanting, reciting, lighting a lot of incense, but who never transform their anger, frustration, and jealousy. This is because the quality of our being is the basis of all our actions. With an attitude of accomplishment, judging or grasping all of our actions, even our meditation, will have that quality. The quality of our presence is the most positive element that we can contribute to the world. Let's say that again. The quality of our presence is the most positive element that we can contribute to the world. Enjoy your breathing. When you sit down, the first thing to do is to become aware of your breathing. Becoming aware of your breathing is the first step in taking care of yourself. Becoming aware of your in-breath and out-breath, you can see how your breath moves through your body. You begin to take care of your body and your mind, and you begin to find joy in the very simple act of breathing. Every in-breath can bring joy. Every out-breath can bring calm and relaxation. This is a good enough reason to sit. We don't need to sit with an intention like getting smarter or becoming enlightened. We can sit just to enjoy sitting and breathing. So with that, let's breathe together. We talked a little bit about the breath between the chest and the belly, breathing that good intention in and out through that space between the hands. We talked about anapana, sati, 
feeling the breath on your upper lip. And none of these require a big, heavy, concerted breath. These can just be your nice, gentle, easy breath that you would normally breathe anytime you're sitting. Just your relaxed breath. So let's breathe together, okay? Just by a simple act of breathing, sitting, being present with one another, that's a high quality of being. So take time out from time to time to just sit and breathe, to be with the ones close to you right now, especially during this time of sheltering in place and keeping our distance because of the pandemic. Sit together, breathe together, love one another, and we hope to see you again tomorrow.